One of the best ways to value stocks is to use a DCF, otherwise known as a discounted cash flow. With a DCF, you can find the intrinsic value of a company and most importantly, have a look at it so that you can decide whether or not you want to invest in that particular company at the existing market price. In this video, I'm going to share with you a free DCF template that you can start using right now on your Google Sheet spreadsheet to be able to value stocks very quickly. Okay, so as you can see, here's the free DCF template for Google Sheets. And you can see there's a lot of data available here. In a second, I'm going to walk you through how the template works exactly. But I just want to show you one of the coolest thing about the template. And that is the fact that you can just simply change the company ticker. And as you can see, all of the data will automatically update for you, including all of this historical data, which is retrieved using Y Sheets functions that you can see right here and with that assumptions are made to be able to calculate the expected results for the future years and with that you can also get the intrinsic value of the company and then decide whether or not you want to invest in this particular company so this is the great thing about the template and I'm going to show you how it is that you can download the template in a second and then after that I'm going to walk you step by step through how the template works and how you can get the most value out of this template the way to download this template is very simple i'm gonna leave a link in the description of the video but also a better way is to do this so if you go on extensions you can go on add-ons and then get add-ons and then from here you're gonna be able to search for y sheets which is the add-on that allows you to get the stock data right on your Google Sheet and Excel spreadsheet. So you're gonna install it and then log in with the account that you can create on our website. Once you do that, you will have the add-on right here and then you can simply open it up, navigate to Wise Templates. And the cool thing about this is that here you will see a whole list of free templates that you can download right away for absolutely no cost. So you can take advantage of all these templates and this this case the one that you're looking for is the discounted cash flow template so you're gonna click here and then it's gonna take you to make a copy of the document and then you're gonna have the exact same template that I'm showing you in this video and with that you can start to make some modifications to the template or just leave it as it is and the magic of the template will work for you now what I want to do is share with you in detail how the template works so the first tab of the template you will see is this company comparison tab and here what you can do is enter different companies that are peers or competitors with the main company that you're going to be analyzing so let's say that in our case we're analyzing Apple so we're gonna change this from Microsoft to Apple again and then the company comparison in this case we have Microsoft Adobe Nvidia Google I think these are excellent companies to compare against Apple and you can see that you have a whole bunch of metrics that are important to be able to to compare these companies something that you can do for example is like let's say instead of nvidia we could put apple here and that way we could see exactly how Apple compares to these other companies. And this gives you a good idea of where Apple is headed. The other thing that I recommend that you take advantage of is the fact that you can change this as well. So let's say that we really just want to look at 2022 and instead of Q2, we'll do Q1. So if you change this, as you can see, the data also updates for you. And that way you can be up to date on the data regardless regardless of what year you're watching this video in. The second tab of the template is one of the most important ones. And the reason why is because here is where all of the financials are retrieved. So here you can see the income statement, then we have the balance sheet, and then we have the cash flow statement. With all of this data, then the assumptions are populated and the intrinsic value of the company is calculated. So the most important thing that you need to know is that the green cells are the ones that you really want to have a look at to make sure that the DCF is performed properly. So of course, the ticker of the company is really important. The currency, this is something that um, you can get using YSHIS to make sure that you're getting the right currency, but you can also enter this yourself. The current year, again, you could also change it. So right now we're actually 2022 financials are available.
available for Apple now. So the cool thing about this is that you can just simply update the template and now it's going to be getting 2022 data, which makes it easier for you to be able to do your calculations and whatnot. Then here you get the price using Y sheets. You can see the formula shares outstanding is the same thing. And then you enter the estimated tax rate for the estimated tax rate. This is something that you can find online or just look at historical data available on Y sheets to be able to determine this number. Something important here is that right now you can see the data is creating assumptions for 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025. So in this case, because we're in 2023, I'm just going to update this. And now what's going to happen is that the data will automatically update. And now we're going to be looking at the right numbers, which is the assumptions for 2023, 2024, 2025, and 2026. The way that the data works is very simple. So in this case, you can see how I'm using wise functions to be able to retrieve this data. So in this case, we're looking at data for Apple. We're looking at revenue, revenue growth. And in this case, we're looking to get that data for 2020, 2021 and 2022. So it's very simple. And then there's some calculations that you're going to be able to see like right here. It's just dividing the cost of revenue by the total revenue. And this is the COGS as a percentage of revenue. And then you can see that there's more data that is retrieved with Y sheets. This is the income statement. The balance sheet is exactly the same. You can see how it works here. There's some metrics as well, like percentage of inventory, the net receivables as a percentage of revenue, which is a pretty valuable number to calculate. And the same thing applies to the cash flow statements. Now, the key thing is how are the assumptions for the DCF made? So that is something that you can change on these green cells right here. These are the ones that are the most important, all these green ones right here. And right now, by default, the way the template is worked is set up is that it takes the average of the past numbers, which may be good, but sometimes it could be completely inaccurate, right? So you really want to make sure that you look at the numbers and you can enter your own assumptions as well, rather than just taking a simple average, which probably doesn't make sense for most cases. Same thing for all these ones. So really your job is to study the company well, get the financials, which you can get from Y sheets right on Excel or Google sheets. And then based on that, you can make some reasonable assumptions along with some other research that you do. And then at the end of the day, this is going to generate the projected cash flows of the company. And then from there, the discounted cash flow value is going to be returned to you. And this is something that you're going to be able to find right here on the last tab of the DCF template for Google Sheets. Here, there's some more green cells for you to be able to fill up. So in this case, we have the beta, we have the market return, and then we have the discount rate that you want to use and the terminal growth rate that you want to use. So these are metrics that you can enter yourself. With White Sheets though, you can actually now get the beta of the company. Uh, you can also use the Google Finance for this as well. So this makes your job easier. And in this case, you can see this is calculating the WAC of the company, which is used to be able to calculate the present value of the company. And then here are some of the DCF assumptions. So in this case, discount rate, the terminal growth rate. And then based on that, you calculate the present value of the terminal value and the present value of the cash flows. Here, there's also a calculation for the enterprise value. And then altogether, you can see the potential downside or upside depending on the particular case. So you can see the numbers are very negative and that's just because of the assumptions assumptions that are being made in the DCF. If you change your assumptions, you will get a very different answer. So for example, let's say a discount rate was like 5%. You will see how everything changes very fast. And now this is looking quite different in terms of an investment perspective. And the most important again is the cash flow projections. So you can see the different values right here and you can see the assumptions that are being made based on the growth rates and whatnot that you entered on the previous time that we talked about this cells right here. And then after that, then you can see the market value in this case on a per share basis, the downside and the intrinsic value of the company. And you can kind of see the graph. So this way you can see
ratio. You know what? According to my DCF, the intrinsic value per share of Apple is, I don't know, maybe 60 bucks per share. Right now, the market value is 157. So therefore, it's probably not a good investment for me right now, but I will add it to my watch list. And if the Apple stock price drops to this level, then I'm interested in doing some more research and potentially buying. Now you know how to use this free DCF template on your Google Sheets spreadsheet so that you can find better stock investments in less time. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level. I'll see you in the next one.